In towns are focused right now on masks and mask mandates. They also want to know what's in the governor's budget coming up. Governor Ned Lamont will give his state of the state address tomorrow. Chief political reporter Susan Raff has some of the highlights already. She's here in our studio tonight. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mark. Obviously, the budget is very important for cities and towns, and they want to know what's in it for them. Now, the governor is saying his plan won't raise taxes, which many are saying is a good thing. Instead, he says he wants to cut some. We're in the best financial shape this state has been in in a long time. Connecticut has a surplus and the rainy day fund is in good shape. On top of that, a large pot of money is also coming from the federal government for COVID relief. Today, Governor Lamont told lawmakers from cities and towns he's ready to cut taxes. We're going to have a property tax cut of our own if I can get that through um, the legislature, making this state a little more affordable. On Wednesday, when Lamont addresses lawmakers, he will talk about lowering the mill rate, capping it at 29 and giving municipalities the difference. There will also be an increase in the property tax credit, a boost from 200 to 300 dollars. Who is eligible? Joint filers earning up to 130,000 a year and single filers up to 109,000. A hotly talked about issue is crime. During the pandemic, a spike in car thefts many being committed by juveniles and repeat offenders. The criminals are smart and they know the system is not going to punish them. Community groups have joined with Republicans calling for tougher penalties. Politically, Democrats may be under pressure to make changes. More cops in the beat. We got more state police. I'm calling for more uh, community policing to, for prevention. Now, the governor tells us his plan will also include more counseling services for juveniles and more judges and prosecutors to move cases through the courts faster. But that may not be enough to make those who feel that tougher penalties are needed. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, the governor had a lot to say today about masks. What do leaders from cities and towns have to say about that? Live in the studio, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.